34 million naira fraud scandal as Labour Party chairman Adebayo gets suspended. Hello everyone, welcome to New Sport TV. The Ocean State's chapter of the Labour Party on Tuesday suspended its chairman, Comrade Belo Adebayo, for alleged mismanagement of 34 million naira meant to be disbursed for party activities before the party presidential election in the state. As a result of the action, the party has, however, appointed its new acting chairman in the person of Mrs. Susan Olua Yemi Ojo with the matching order to proceed with the party's assignment. Announcing the state's party chairman's suspension at a press conference in Oshogbo, the chairman of Ward 12, Oshogbo Local Government Area, Oshogbo, where he belongs, Honorable Hamid Sharif, together with seven other ward executives, accused Belo of defrauding the party and also mismanaging its resources. He, however, said, Having met the two third of ward level executive, having found Belo Adebayo committed the categories of offenses, we are to act according to the constitution of our party, Labour Party. Article 19, 1b, subsection 2. 45 and Article 19 2 B Subsection 3 of continuously being absent at the meetings at the world level without cogent reasons for 10 times or more consecutively carrying out anti party propaganda or any other activities which could tend to disturb the peaceful, lawful, and efficient organization of the party, of which are inconsistency with the achievement of the aims of the party. Due to the offenses committed, we hereby suspend Belo Adebayo as a member of the Labour Party in World 12 or Shogbo local government and also as the state party chairman. Also in our own speech at the program, the acting chairman of the party accused the suspended chairman of duping the party, saying Belo duped the Oshun LPPCO twice. Firstly, painstakingly set up eight committees combining the obedient movement with candidates and party members from all local governments. As a chairman, the LPPCC trusted him with 4 million naira for Peter Obi rally at Oshobo. He absconded with the funds, leading to the terrible attack by supporters on the LPPCC offices. During this terrible attack on the LPPCC offices, the aggrieved supporters had already bought petrol to burn the office donated to the party. He should explain to the public how he spent the 4 million naira handed over to him through to state LPPCC meant for the party when our presidential candidate, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, came to Oshun for his presidential campaign. According to her, it is unfortunately the Oshun Labour Party's fault for allowing Belo to dupe them the second time. Having given himself a very bad reputation among the obedience, candidates and party leaders, he had to rely on the goodwill of LPPCC to get people a polling unit agent to submit form EC8A after the elections and before the LPPCC decided to work with him. He promised that those who submitted these forms would be compensated. After submission, he was thereafter given 30 million naira to pay polling unit agents that submitted the form EC8A. Now the leaders of LPPCC are being chased around by those who submitted these forms while Belo had collected and cornered their funds. You can verify all this from any Liberal Party member in Oshun State. Such is, this, is the despicable character of Belo and his co-travelers. And this tells you more about the in interloper called Belo at Debayo. He should explain to the public how he spent the 30 million naira sent to him after the presidential election. So let's just take a few comments. Somebody said, a Yoruba criminal is misused the money in favor of Tinumbu. Another said, but Labour Party no give shishi now. Where did they get 34 million naira in a single state? Another said, now so them for they steal our money. Another said, Tinumbu supporters will start attacking the obedience now. Whalers, you can start. Another said, we are still obedient. We don't need such people. So he has to be suspended and exposed to the public. If we are to be APC, therefore just Idam. Another said, that is the manner of Labour Party National Chairman to the state's chairman and noted for embezzlement of funds. 
This is what Nigerians would have experienced if Peter Obi and his Labour Party clinched power, but thank God for giving us Tinumbo. Another said, but I think the obedience don't have shishi. But one person defrauded the party of 30 million naira. Lies have limited time to hide. Another person said, nice one. It doesn't have to be billions before it's a crime. Another said, it's not enough to suspend him. Get all the money from him first. Another person said, no presence of the Labour Party agent where I voted in 2023 presidential election. Or Lauren Munda precisely. Another said the national chairman of the Labour Party was in court today on allegation of forgery, fraud, impersonation, etc. Another said there are no saints in our political circle. We are just routing for a lesser evil out of the lots. So these are the few comments that trailed this announcement um, that 30 million naira um, was embezzled by the Labour Party chairman. What's your opinion on this? Can you drop your comments in the comment section below? Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you for watching. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. We'll see you in the next news. God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.